Yeah, but I didn't know there was a parking because yeah. I, I just saw a driveway. I didn't know what the story was, so I just parked down there. That's alright. But if I need parts, I'll just drive up. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'm up here. So basically, this is a service call. Apparently, not calling. Just one day it stopped working. So, they've tried to have someone look at it for uh, six weeks and it's a real estate job. And the um, technician kept saying he doesn't work on carrier units and never showed up. So, I was just at the gym today and this new real estate agent rang me. And this house is just around the corner from where I live. So I was just like, yeah, I'll go there now and have a look for you. So here we are. Let's see what we can find. So I know the indoor fan works. Turned on, but then cut out straight away. socket set. Alright so I just got up here, just went and got the socket set and gauges. Oh, so slippery up here. Um, yeah got that and I just walked up here and the unit's running. So now I can confirm that the indoor unit, indoor fan runs and the outdoor fan runs. So on these old carrier units, I'm guessing this is about 30 years old. I'm very familiar with these units. Um, they actually blow that way. So, a bit different to the normal type. But, um, yeah, I can confirm that the compressor's running um, and the fan's going. So, I might chuck my gauges on and see what's doing. can't tell me carriers aren't a good unit. This thing would be 30 years old, just absolutely just sitting on the ground and it's still just running. None of the inverter units will be doing this, guaranteed. Alright, let's chuck some gauges on.
about 400 suction, 400 kPa suction. Alright, so we got 400 kPa suction, 1400 discharge, running on um, cooling, but all those figures mean absolutely nothing unless you get the super heat, so let's do that. Celsius on the suction line. We have just over 400 kPa on the suction pressure. That's about a zero back temp. You can see the R22 on zero. The difference is 16. So this thing is short on gas. But cannot tell me that modern inverter air conditioners are more like a, a better for the environment. This thing is 30 years old and it's still running. Compressors running, outdoor fans running, indoor fans running. The accurators are something that you don't even need. It's, it's nothing. That'll always work unless there's a blockage. So every major component of this unit is working. It's so good. Um, it's just short on gas now. It doesn't have a massive leak, but it's definitely short on gas. There's no shadow cap on that, and they definitely leak. From time to time, I've seen that. And that compressor is rusty as, which just quietly is why I um, put units on brackets. But anyway, made in Mexico. Interesting. Stick my head up in the roof. See what condition this thing's in. But um, I need to get the go ahead from the real estate before I do any work to this thing. But yeah, actually, one thing we'll do. Not running on a high head pressure because short on gas, but put it more known in the future when this thing's gassed up properly. 
um, if that fan is going at the right speed. I want to find the capacitance. This sort of capacitor that is with the 6 microfarad. Alright, 6 microfarad capacitor. I'll just bring one of it. I've already got one in the car, but I'll change that. If I'm going to be, you know, doing some repair work, give, give these components a bit of love. So the pressures are down on the discharge and um, suction. The suctions are pretty good to be honest, but the discharge is definitely a bit low. Um, but just when your unit is running with low refrigerant. Have a look at what happens to the dis discharge pipe temp. That's way too hot. If this is gassed up at around 8k, that will go to around 70 degrees Celsius normal. Obviously, if there's something wrong, you won't, but I used to um, do maintenance on these things when I was in Cronin. So, like, when these things occur in at 400 over 1600 kPa, 8k, um, that'll sit around 70. And as it drops its gas and gets less, you know, once it gets up to 90, you, you're in the territory of like, you know, burn out compressors. But I've seen them so short that they've got up to 100 degrees before. It's not that bad, just a little bit shorter than gas. But we can work with that. That's made in the US, just quality. Okay, so I just left that job. Basically, um, I went inside to speak with the client and when I went in there, I noticed that the outdoor unit cut out. So I went back out to the outdoor unit, I didn't film that, and I just sat there for like half an hour and it, but when I got out there, it was running again. And I sat there for half an hour waiting for it to cut out and it just didn't. So I went back inside, checked all the airflows, plenty of airflow, checked out the ductwork, that was all fine. So I'm not sure why it cut out and it's hard to diagnose um, why it cut out when it's running. Um, so basically with those things, 
there's a HP switch, an LP switch, and there's also a thermal cutout for the compressor. I know it wasn't running at a high pressure, and I know it wasn't running at a low pressure either, so, or enough to cause issues and make it trip. So, and I, I know the compressor's hotter, running hotter than what it should, so the compressor may have just cut out on a thermal um, safety. I don't know, I'm not claiming that that's what happened, but that could potentially be it. But I'm going to recommend to the real estate agent um, that we go back and do a leak test and regas it and get it going to um, 8K. So when it's all gassed up properly and running fine, then we'll just let it go and um, you may never hear from them again. If you do, then you can go in a little bit further but yeah it's hard to diagnose stuff when when you're in front of it and it's just purring away fine so i don't know but anyway so that's what i'm gonna do that's the outcome it's definitely running short on gas um it's still blowing out cold air but it could be way colder and yeah so yep i'll do that i've just gone to dakin picked up a split uh sorry a two head multi splitty or a duckless mini split whatever you want to call it um and I'm, that's for monday so that's basically it for today i'm gonna go home and relax and um yeah go again tomorrow all right cool i'll see you on the next one and happy new year <laughs>